Tetalus Velocity 1. Working with 7 days of growth, so this is not an easy shave for any razor. But we're going to put it to the test. I'm not going to use any pre-shave oil or anything. I am going to go in with Cathedral. This is the Ultima by Ariana and Evans. Love this stuff. And going in with my T3 Synthetic Knot. One of my favorite knots. Let's give that a little rinse. Go in here. Grab some soap. Should be enough. And some water on my face here. Soap is becoming one of my favorites. Um, spoke with Peter. He's going to send me a bunch more stuff. I am going up to the Maggart's Wet Shave Meetup. Tickets went on sale on the 1st of February. And they're limiting it to like 200 and I think 30 people. And 20 vendors. So I'll be there. Okay, now loading the razor. Well, I'm going to use what I call the standard of the industry. This is the best safety razor blade you can buy, in my opinion. But this is it for me. It's the uh, Comfort Coat by Persona. The cool thing with these, and I mention it every time, is there's no goo. No glue whatsoever. So, the Tetalus. Velocity 1 is your standard three-piece razor, okay? Uh, this one right here is model 87. This is the one Ken Surf's had. Um, Manuel had him send it to me, and he's going to let me play around, this, play around with this one for a little bit, which is really cool. So just loading it like you do any three-piece razor, you know, putting the blade on top, base plate, and the handle. Cool thing is with this razor, there's no blade hang off here. So when you're going around underneath your nose, around your ears, when you head shave, you're not gonna have any issues there. Back in here, I'm gonna look, get this a little bigger. I did jump out of the shower about 15 minutes ago. so. It's not going to take me much. You can see a lot of growth there. I did cut in a beard the other day. So it's a little more defined than normal. All right, so going in with the first pass. Velocity 1. $1,000 razor. Yeah, this razor weighs 112 grams. And its blade gap is 0 0.89, and it's but it's a neutral blade feel. So this thing is just so super smooth. And with that Persona Comfort Coat, winner. That was a lot. I, just a great razor. I'm gonna push it. I did a head shave with it and it did really well. So good, man. The balance of it is unbelievable. Just get it to touch your face and it'll do the rest.
Really good razor. Very good. No question about that. Let's give that a rinse. First pass, really good. We got an ingrown hair there. We'll find out here when I get done shaving. Wonderful soap. I always like to squeeze the soap out of it. It helps me when I'm trying to clean out my brush too. And I get, you know, all that soap or cream, whatever I'm using that day. It's great stuff. All right. Second pass. Now the first pass, really damn good. Uh, this razor, it, it does shave different than anything else I've ever used. It's if It seems like if you can get this razor on your face, all you have to do is pull it across and it does its job. Um, you don't have to try to manipulate the head at all. It's well balanced. So when it sits on your face, it's going to, you don't have to manipulate the head of it. Some razors you do. Uh, so let's go across the grain. Yeah, this thing's so smooth. You could be a beginner. Not that a beginner would buy this. Yeah, it's it's a winner. I'm pushing it too. I should have cleaned that way before. Didn't. Rinses out great. Lovely razor. I mean, two passes. I think clears. It's good. I think it actually is the best razor I've ever shaved with. Uh, no shit. It's it's damn good. Is it worth a hundred? Yeah, I don't know about. Or is it worth eight hundred and let's just say nine hundred without the stand? I don't know, man. That's a lot. I'm just gonna do a real quick three pass shave with it. I normally don't do that. And I'm just going to do it quickly, so, um, yeah, don't get all bummed out. Just added a little more soap to that brush. Now, I normally don't chase BBS, but, um, just because... My skin's so sensitive. So let's just see how smooth of a razor this is, because I'll know. Uh, so I'm going to go against the grain. Not much there. It's ultra smooth. That's all I gotta say. It is ultra smooth. All right, let's uh, let's get on with this. So far, so good. I do feel a little bit of irritation on my lower neck. Let's see how much that really translates into. Little stinging down here, but again, 
Yep, little there too. I never go, I don't chase BBS like that. Having sensitive skin, I can't. But yeah, slight tingling down below here, but everywhere else is good. But again, I don't do three pass shaves. Looks like I have a ingrown hair. I think that one's been there for a couple of weeks. I do remember, I do recall that on my last shave as well. All right, so Alum Block key for people that have sensitive skin. This is the one made by Parker. I'll put the links down below for Amazon. That way you can go out and grab yourself some. Um, let me rinse this off my face. Highly recommended Thayer's Witch Hazel Face Toner. If you guys haven't grabbed this, and I know I say it all the time, you need to pick some of this stuff up. This stuff is great. I put it on my head. You got a bald head. This is definitely something you do not want to overlook. Or if you have a bad complexion, definitely want to use theirs. All right. And it goes on so wet. Oh, dude, it's just so refreshing. I love this stuff. So get that to dry up a little bit, which I don't mind going on a little bit wet. And let me go in with um, Ariana and Evans, the Cathedral, their aftershave balm. Stuff has a good scent to it. This must be one of his better sellers, I'm thinking. Because it's, it's good. I like it. All right. The conclusion. Well, here's what I gotta say. Let me grab my toothbrush here. I'm gonna clean this thing up while I'm gonna sit here and talk to you about it. Um, I can say this, the rounded edges on it, when you're taking it apart after your shave, I have to hold a you know, cloth in my hand and grab it from the sides because it's a little, I can't grab it. That's the only bad thing I can say about the razor. I just can't grab it because it's so rounded on the sides here. I can't grab it and there's no blade exposure. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you grab it or when you buy it. Um, that's the only bad thing I can say about it. If that's even a bad thing, because honestly, my hands normally have water on them and soap, so I have a towel or something, you know, nearby at all times anyways. And I generally take all of them off with, um, you know, a, a towel of some sort. So, but I did notice that. I did grab it with my head shave and just try to take it off, and I couldn't do it. At least to the point where it didn't feel safe. Uh, cool thing is these are Swiss made. Um, it, it is a piece of art. I mean, just by holding it in your hand, you know you're actually holding something precious. That's for sure. This razor, it comes with a razor stand. You know, uh, I think they're sold out of the razor stands right now, but if you buy one of these, I'm sure he'll have no problem getting one to you when they come in stock because I would want that with this razor. Uh, just because this is going to be something that's going to, it's would probably sit out in your shaved in. Um, definitely. Uh, it, it's a hell of a shave, man. It is so smooth. The weight of it's perfect. Um, I like the fact that, um, you saw how much growth it took down. I didn't have to keep repeatedly going over it. That was pretty nice. And if you have sensitive skin, that's something to take in to consideration when you're buying a safety razor, how many strokes are you having to take? That's a factor. Um, with sensitive skin, you got to be careful to make sure they're not positive blade exposure. A neutral blade exposure is going to help you out in tremendous ways. If this one had a uh, positive blade exposure, I would have been able to feel that blade and it probably would have irritated my face because it's too much for my skin type especially down below but what a great shave man um yeah if you're looking to get the best safety razor out there i would highly recommend this to you 
uh, I haven't shaved with anything better. Now, I don't know of anything of that price of that price point either. Um, that's a very high price point. But is it worth it? Hey, I think it is to the. I think it definitely is worth it to the right person. Hundred percent think it's definitely worth it for the right person. Would I buy one? Thousand dollars is a lot. Since I just did a head shave with it, yeah, I would. Uh, I would buy one of these. Am I going to? I don't know. Not right now. There's other things that I need to purchase, other than this, and I'm not putting it on a credit card. But. Uh, what a great razor. Thanks, Emmanuel, for letting me uh, shave with this. Uh, I am going to do another shave with it. I'm going to do like a two-day shave and see how that does because I know a lot of guys here on my channel do that. So I'll do that, what is it, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'll shave on Monday, probably put that up Tuesday or Wednesday. But uh, yeah, that way we can see how good it does because I got to say, it shaved really good with seven days of growth. What's it going to do when I have two days of growth? And beautiful looking razor. I'm, I'm digging it. So I'm going to get as many shaves into it as I can. And the head shave I did with it, well, I'll throw that up right now. So you guys can take a look at it. If not, I'll see you down the road. I'm going to do a $1,000 head shave today. This razor itself is just a little under $1,000. It does come with a beautiful stand that's made out of stainless steel as well as this razor here. Um, this is called the Tetalist Safety Razor. It's Swiss made. And it's had a few reviews here on YouTube, but no one's done a head shave with it. And I figured, you know what? Let's do a thousand dollar head shave. Why not? Um, I'm going to be using Ariana and Evans Cathedral. This is the Ultima formula. And with that, I'm going to be using my Simpson Synthetic T3 Knot. In my mind, this is the best knot you can buy. And, you know, we like that kind of stuff here. So, us bald guys don't ever get the advantage of seeing expensive razors of people shaving their head. Maybe a straight razor, but I have not seen anyone do a review on this for a head shave. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to... Do what I normally do. I'm just going to take my synthetic brush, get it wet. I'm going to do a head lather today. It's the inside of that soap there. I'm just going to go in here and grab some soap. If I need to grab more, I will, but that's how quickly a synthetic brush loads. All right, so I just put some water on my head, and now I'm just going to Start working this up to a lather, or try to at least. The nice thing with this uh, Ariana and Evans shaving soap, it's ultra slick. Um, they do have a vegan based as well, which I have used, and I like it as well. Uh, per the owner, Peter, um, he says that this one is probably slicker or I should say, he said this one's more dense. I don't know about that. I'm just going to go back in here and grab some more here. I'm not sure about that. Um, haven't done a side-by-side -side on it, but I will. But I just got out of the shower, and I know a lot of people, I, even, even me sometimes, like I don't always take a shower before I do a head shave. I'll just put you know a bunch of warm water on my face. Or, I'm sorry. I'll just put a bunch of warm water on my head and, you know, heat it up a little bit. I do have sensitive skin when it comes to, like, my lower neck, but my head, I generally don't have a ton of problems. I know some people have, like, moles and all that. I don't have that problem. So, I like just diving right in. Oh, yeah, it's starting to pop now. What I'm doing every time I go down here, I'm just putting in the tips of the razor about an eighth of an inch in and putting some water on it just to get some hydration going here. Yeah, that stuff's really starting to pop. But you can see this stuff 
It works great on my face and it's going to work great on my head too. I don't think I've head shaved with this yet. But generally something that's good on your face is going to be good on your head. All right. Okay, let's call that good for right now. But I'm going to go to my standard blades, which are Persona Comfort Coats. Here we go. has a very smooth, slick feel. Now, right now, I have about seven days of growth on my head to give you some kind of idea. Oh, look, it didn't remove it there. To give you some kind of idea how much growth I have. other side here. Can't say it's very smooth. Yeah, just a ton of hair. It rinses out great though. That's always a nice feature. I don't have much hair up top, so um, you're not going to really get, you're not going to hear much up top. going to a wine tasting tonight, so I wanted to have a nice, clean, fresh look for today. Very smooth razor, though. Now, the nice thing with this one is it doesn't have tabs that stick out the side, which is going to be beautiful when I'm going around my ears here. Okay. Got that side. A little bit of hair was left there. Great first pass. Let's give that a rinse. Like I left a lot in the back here. You can feel a ton of um, hair back there. Okay. Now it did end up leaving a ton of hair here in the back. I could feel it when I was rinsing off. But we'll get it on this pass. Or should. All right. Now the trick that I have, doesn't matter which safety razor you're using, is... I rotate my head around this razor instead of trying to go around a curved surface. For me, I found that the easiest way. And here's how I do that. It's that easy. You know, obviously the lower neck, I've got to actually move that puppy. Did a pretty good job there. Now we're going to go across the grain here. A 
little bit of residue there. I know some guys don't do this pass, but I like to get every single little hair. Like I don't want anything popping up. I don't know if you've ever been to your barber, you come home and you see like a little hair sticking up. I, I, I hate that. Great razor. Smooth feeling. Balance of it is really good. Now I'm just going to do some touch up here on my, rinse this off. I think I got it all. Oh, no, there's a little bit left there. Well, I tell you what, this, this razor is so smooth. I'm probably going to go against the grain on the back. That's where they have the bulk of my hair. But I'm going to cut in my, my upper cheeks as well. All right, so I'm going to go against the grain just on the back of my head here. I know I'm putting the soap everywhere, but... What I found is good soap is good for your skin. And we'll probably cut that in at least one time too. Okay, call that good. Let me cut this in first. Like that. Perfect. That's dry, but I'm going to see if I can't cut this in up top. Yeah, that neutral blade feel really sticks out. All right, so now I'm just going to go against the grain on my back of my neck here. Basically, this is just a pickup pass. Now, just with the residue left, I'm just going to go back here and feel if there's any stubble whatsoever. Got a pretty good job there. I like it. Yeah, that's good. You know what? The top, I'm going to go one more pass on it because, like I said, I get these like little baby butt hairs. It's just peach fuzz. And I want to make sure I get it all. Okay. Rinse that off and let's see where we're at here. $1,000 shave. Pretty darn good. All right. I'm going to go in with some Thayer's. Love this stuff. You guys haven't picked this up. This is really good stuff to have. Um... I always put it on. Okay. That residue on my arms. I tend to do that a lot. Set that aside. Let me go in with their aftershave. This stuff's really good too. Has a good smell to it. All right, that was a great shave. What do I think about that razor? Man, that's a really, really sweet shave um, for $1,000. Now, can everybody afford that? No, 
Um, and they're not trying to sell a million of these. But Ooh, I can't get that off. A lot of people have said that they're only making 100 of these. That's not the case. Uh, I've talked with Emmanuel. He's like, um, yeah, could you mention that um, we're making more than 100? I don't know. He's like, I don't know where that came from. He's like, but could you rectify that for me? And I'm like, sure, dude. I can do that for you. So it was a good shave. Is it worth $1,000? I think it is to some people. Um, definitely it's going to be worth 1000 Some people just want, you know, the best of the best. And, you know, a lot of people think if, it, if it's expensive, it's the best. Um, do I think it's the best? I don't know. Uh, I have a lot of high-end razors. So for me to say it's better than all the other ones that I've used, I don't know. But I can tell you this. It's a hell of a shave, man. That was a really good shave. Let me just shine this puppy up. The finish on this razor is absolutely gorgeous. I can't say that. Um, yeah, the finish on this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It's highly polished everywhere. The top here where it says Tetalist, it's uh, brushed there. So from what Matt over at Razor Emporium was saying, he's like, that takes a lot of time. But the polish on this, I, I've never seen a razor polished to this degree ever. Um, the handle of it, it's not a uh, thick knurling, but I think um, this isn't a razor that a beginner is going to buy. Um, me, I've been doing this for two years. I don't drop razors anymore. If I get soap on my fingers, you know, because we use high-end soaps, if I get soap on my fingers, I rinse it off in my water, you know what I mean, and then dry my hand and then start shaving. I haven't dropped a razor in years. Now, what I do drop are handles when I bowl lather because all the soap gets up here. When you're lathering up your face, it gets slick, and you drop it. And that's the only thing that I actually drop besides razor blades when I'm taking them out of certain razors. Every now and then one fall on the floor. But what a great razor. Um, I can see a lot of people, um, you know, in the comments below getting upset. Why would you showcase a thousand dollar razor? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because there are people out there that buy really expensive stuff. And uh, he's going to sell them. I guarantee he's I guarantee he's going to sell them. He'll sell 100 if he hasn't already really quickly. And just to let you all know, there's going to be more than 100. So keep that in mind. I am going to put a link down below. So if you do buy one of his razors, he'll let you know I sent you there. And I don't have any discount code for you, though. So I wish he would have gave me a discount code to offer to you guys. But... That didn't happen. The Ariana and Evans um, Ultima, just a very slick, good, clean soap, which I like a lot. Um, have nothing but great things to say about that. Um, I am going to put... Leaf Shaves came out with some calming serum. I've been using this stuff on my head as well. In the winter here, it's um, it has a little dopper here. In the winter here... It gets um, dry. My head gets really dry. So putting something on my head to help it from not drying out is perfect for me. And we're going to call that a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below. And subscribe if you like this kind of content because I showcase razors here on Ohio Shaves. And don't forget to give me a like. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys down the road.